All right, y'all, I am so, so, so excited. So let's do it. Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. My name is Kara, and whether you're new or returning, this is a special one today. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. I am probably going to film this video over a day or two just because time constraints, but it's here. And I have never bought anything like this. I'm really excited to unbox this. I have not touched it. I have not swatched it. I have not taken it out the box. So if you want to see my reaction to the new Melt Cosmetics Amore e Mariposas collection, keep watching this video. You can go ahead and tell me I'm crazy because I know how much it is. Yeah. If makeup is your therapy and your love, if it sometimes gets you in trouble, but it makes you happy, this is a community for you. And we're working through, we're working through that struggle, y'all. We are working through and we're gonna make some improvements. So um, definitely join the community because I would love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So I've always had a thing for Melt. First palette was the Rust palette and I bought that whenever it came out in 2020. I was in love ever since. Didn't know about Muerte or any of, you know, Gemini or any of their well-known palettes. I just had Rust and then I just started to build my collection and I have a pretty good amount of Melt palettes. I do have Vita, obviously I don't have Muerte, and I was able to get Gemini at the last Sephora VIB sale. That's not why y'all clicked on this video though. Last year with Beetlejuice, the price, I was just like, oh, $350, and this one was $100 more than that. Uh, this was $425. I think with any amount of money that you spend, whether it's on makeup or whatever, clothes, whatever the case may be, because we all have different hobbies. You want it to be something that you're gonna use. And I think you want it to be something that you are going to value and connect with. So this collection really spoke to me uh, for a few reasons. Yeah, so let's talk about it real fast. Well, I don't know if it'll be real fast. So this collection is based around the Monarch Butterfly. Now I have a very, very deep appreciation for monarch butterflies. I teach second grade, but for a few years I taught first grade. And part of the social studies slash science unit was a unit on monarch butterflies. We actually got the caterpillars. We had to feed them milkweed. They, we watched them form into their chrysalis and we watched them turn into butterflies and we released them. And the monarch butterflies journey that they take to Mexico every year. It's honestly one of the most amazing things that I've ever had to learn about. And I didn't learn about it until I was a grown up. Just the fact that this caterpillar can completely change its DNA and transform into something completely different is so amazing. Man, like one year I was able to actually watch and you can see this on YouTube if you're interested. So after the caterpillars get like big and fat and eat, you know, all the milkweed and everything, they get really fat and then they crawl up to the top of wherever they are. If they're in the wild, uh, it's going to be like a leaf or something like that. But in the first grade classroom, it is like, um, we have these like butterfly little enclosures or whatever. They climb up to the top and then they form a J. Now, if you already know about this transition, you can go ahead or transformation, you can go ahead and fast forward till we get to the good stuff. And they hang in that J, they hang in that J for a while. There would be times where they would form the chrysalis overnight. So I wouldn't see that process. But one day at dismissal, we caught it. I could tell that it was about to happen because the caterpillar had not moved. It had not moved. And then all of a sudden it started doing this little, this little movement, this little shedding type situation. And this was actually movement. Like, I don't know, it was like, mm, about to go down. And they just started moving. And then it was like, they started going around like this and they would just weave around and form this chrysalis. 
I mean, it's the most amazing thing that I have ever seen. The chrysalis would stay like that. And then at the top, it would get these little, oh, I don't know if I have any pictures of this. These, so the chrysalis would be green and there would be these little gold, looks like gold jewels. I don't know how else to explain it. that go around the top and the chrysalis stays like that. Eventually that chrysalis will turn black and clear. In a couple of weeks, the butterfly will come out. If you've ever seen a butterfly come out of the chrysalis, it's wet. They can't fly right away. And their wings have to kind of dry. They have to kind of like, you know, get used to it. And then we would take the kids out and we would let them go. It's one of the most amazing experiences, like when I think about it, that I, have participated in as a teacher you know and just in general being able to participate in the migration of the monarch butterflies to mexico because they go to mexico um and basically they go there and then they come back and they they lay their eggs and then they die and then the cycle starts all over again i am on a tangent but if you know me laura oriano one of the owners of Mount, that is my girl crush. Like that, listen, okay, I, you know, and I start going like this, I, I don't even know the words. She is gorgeous. Uh, I feel like she was kind of the um, inspiration for this collection. In Mexico, the monarch butterfly is symbolic of a connection between the living and the dead. My mom really loves butterflies. You know, I think about my own personal loss because that's what this co collection seems to be inspired by. It seems to be inspired by love and loss, you know, in my mind. So in my life, and if you are newer to my channel, I was widowed. I was widowed in 2017. And it's so crazy to say that because I never thought of myself that way at my age, you know, with a sudden loss. And I believe that's what Laura experienced in her situation. It's like, sometimes it feels so surreal. Like sometimes I honestly can't believe the life that I'm living. Like I can't, but you just have to like keep going one day at a time, but like grief is real, all that's real. But I think the butterfly is like a symbol of hope, a symbol of that connection that that soul is still there and is still around. This is a beautiful collection, beautiful inspiration, but y'all know like that's my thing. That's what I'm into. I always wanna know like how did a brand come up with what they, with, with their idea? Melt to me, always has the vision Now sometimes things may not play out exactly how we want to but i, I think it's kind of undeniable to say that they don't have the vision and with each collection that i've seen each each thing just about everything that they've released like you see you see that vision now maybe not brunette this is a brand that i feel like i really connect with I'm so excited. Um, I'll put timestamps in this cause I know this was a bit of a long intro, but it's definitely from the heart. You know, this, this is, is pretty special, special color story for them. Even the look of the collection is, is a lot different than what we're used to from Mel. So let's get into this, this collection. I had to make sure my mic was on. Let me see if I can show this to you up close. So as you can see, we have the Amore y Mariposa's name and then Melt Cosmetics. We have the Monarch Butterfly and it's just so regal looking and so beautiful. I think you can tell this collection really took a lot of thought, a lot of planning. I've never had anything like this. I've, I've bought luxury makeup. You know, I love Mama Pat and everything, but I don't have like this type of like PR box situation. I, I don't have anything like that. So this is the first time I've ever bought anything like that. This red is kind of this like beautiful, velvety um, finish and like it's almost like embroidered with pictures of hearts and pictures of roses. I'm going to show all this stuff up close and we're going to get into it. I'm just looking at the outer packaging right now. You've got this beautiful artwork and one of the cutest things is that Laura's dog who I'm guessing is a huge inspiration for the collection is in one of the butterflies. You have this heart 
And then that green, those are actually hummingbirds. And then they're surrounded by pink roses and monarchs. This next picture though, honey, I cannot. Y'all know this is my girl right here. And she did that in this campaign picture. Like, look how beautiful this is. Hey y'all, I'm just trying to angle this. This, you know, people overuse the word stunning. This is stunning though. Like people be saying things are stunning and they're really not, but this is, this truly, truly is. We have a letter from Laura and it just talks about losing a loved one, how shocking it can be. It's in English and Spanish. Grief can cause so many emotions, so many unexpected emotions. But you know, if you are going through something like that, it's normal. I still go through stuff like that all the time. And we've got some stickers. There's a little booklet here. It goes over the ingredients of all the components. And then we have the palettes and we have the brushes. I love this gold packaging. The brushes are synthetic. I've never tried melt brushes before. This is going to be a first for me, but they are absolutely beautiful. Uh, they, they feel like good quality. I'd like to say I ordered this on the 5th and I had the collection Monday, which was the 8th. So that turnaround time, that's what I'm talking about. Like, I hate to say I need instant gratification, but I kind of need instant gratification and they did not disappoint. If you want to purchase anything from the collection individually, it is going to be available on November 12th. So as I go through the parts of the collection, I will share the pricing information. I'm going to show you everything. I'm just going to go ahead and start with this little section this big section right here. So first we have the mirror. It has the melt logo and then the butterflies here. And it says Amor y Mariposas. Very cute mirror. I think this is the same style as the Beetlejuice one, which I don't have. This mirror is going to be available for $19. All right, now we're gonna look at the gel liners and the pigment paint. We have the shade Colibri, and this is one of the gel liners. And it looks like the gel liners have a shelf life of 12 months. This is like a beautiful teal. We have the shade Estrella, it's beautiful gold. And I love that these have the butterflies on them, they're heavy. This one is the pigment paint. This is called Concha. And if I remember correctly, Laura talked about this being named after a Mexican sweetbread and the pink frosting that they put on top. This is beautiful. Now the other two gel liners looked more shimmery. This one looks more matte. Each of them are $22 and there is a bundle where you can get all three for $48. Let's get into the lipstick set. Some of these lipsticks are a new formula. They're a glitter lipstick. Okay y'all, so this first lipstick this is one of the ones with the glitter and it's called Inovidable, which means unforgettable. So there you go. You can see there's some imprints in the lipstick and you can see that glitter. That is so pretty. Mm, I can, I can. Next we have Amor Eterno, which means eternal love. Now the other three lippies are in this type of packaging. We have Alma Jamela, and Alma Jamela means soulmate. Ooh. Just so y'all know, the inside of the lipstick has that velvet texture too. And some people just throw it in the trash. Not me, no. And look at the outside of that. Lots of detail in this one, you guys. It It's the same Monarch butterfly that's on the front box, that gold butterfly, I mean with the gold like rays coming out of it. And I know I'm going through this a little slow you guys, but I am really enjoying this experience. Now, th now, when people talk about the experience, this is an experience, okay? This is the shade Bezos, Bezos is Kiss. So that's this one here. And the lipsticks have like that magnetic type closure. So that's cute. And the last shade is Recuerdos, which means regards. Ooh, this is that purple one, y'all. I can't. Look at this beautiful purple. There's also a butterfly like right on the tip 
of the lipstick too. Now let's talk about the pricing. Each of the lipsticks, it looks like they're $22. There is a bundle of those three mattes. Right now, I don't see the glitter lipsticks on the website. So I guess maybe you can only get it if you get the whole collection. I don't know. Now we have three perfectionist lip pencils. Mm. We have the shade Familia, and that's what it looks like. Next we have Corazon, which is heart. And I have not tried any of the perfectionist lip pencils. So the last shade we have is Esperanza. And I know Laura said originally that might've been her name. Esperanza means expectation or hope in Spanish. It's a beautiful pink shade. So if you buy the lip pencil separately, they're $19 each which is a bit expensive. And if you buy all three, they are $48. So you might just have one color that you like or no colors that you like. All right, y'all, enough of the shucking and jiving. Let's go to the palette. We'll do the brushes last, cause y'all been waiting. I've been waiting, how about that? This is the first time that Melt has done a palette in this format. Just the fact that it is 20 shades, the round pans, this is all so, so new for them. And this is the outer packaging. It also has that velvety texture in the inside. And ooh, look at this, y'all. Is made in Italy, look at that. You have the heart, you have the hummingbirds right here. Same as the packaging in the interior of the PR box. And then you've got the monarch butterfly or butterflies and you have the butterflies on the back. It, it's very melt, but it, I don't know. I don't know what I expect from melt, but that's the fun part. So here is the palette. So I don't know, when I looked at it, I was like, I felt like the um, size the, of the pants. I'm not saying they were smaller than I expected because they're not. I'm actually glad they're this size because you know, I, don't, I hate to say it, but you know, I waste a lot of eyeshadow. This palette looks a bit deeper. I felt like it looked really springy, but no, this doesn't. I kept saying, I wish they did a little bit of grunge, but the grunge is there. It's here, it's here, it's here. It's there with that mustardy, it's here. You can, I mean, you can get that here because that's what I love so much about Melt is that grunge element but this is a really beautiful palette and it's almost like rainbow for melt, kind of. It's like a melt rainbow, yes, it is. Now this is a pressed pigment palette, so there are some shades in this palette that are not designed to go in your eyes. This palette is $70 and this is the biggest palette they've done. Completely different look for Melt, and that's kind of cool to see them go in this direction. So that's very nice. And again, I'm gonna I'm gonna swatch everything. So hopefully you grabbed a drink or something because that's what we're doing. Now next we have the blush palette. Now the blush palette also has a 12 month shelf life. And here is the blush palette up close. Yes, some of these shades look a bit light, but I think some of them are the shimmer type blushes. So when we see the swatches, we'll kind of be able to decide whether we think this is, you know, what we need it to be. Here is the outside, and this is actually called the Monarca Blush Palette. The blush palette is $58, and $58 is the price of some of their regular palettes like Mary Jane, like Gemini, and then if you buy both palettes, if that's what you were interested in, you can get both palettes for $95, yes. The last thing we have are the brushes. I'll just tell you what I would personally use the, the brushes for and how much they are. Nano Melt is cruelty free, so these are synthetic brushes. These brushes are really beautiful. I like how they have the gold handle with the red fur. They feel very soft. Again, I've never tried Melt brushes before, but we are gonna see and try it out in this video and see how, how they perform. This brush right here, I would probably use for like an all over powder brush or a blush brush. It's kind of got that tapered or domed finish to it. 
here's a smaller brush i would also use this for powder or blush depending on you know where i was applying it this would also be good i mean i could even do a little highlight with this this is an eyeshadow brush i would definitely use this for my transition shade we have another eyeshadow brush here and i would use this in the crease this is usually the second brush that i use when i am putting on my eyeshadow now this is another eyeshadow brush that i think would be really great for the crease it has an angle to it which is really good i think for people with hooded eyes this is a little more dense you honestly could put on a shimmer with this brush but there is a better brush for that in this brush collection. This is like a flat shader brush. And this is one of the ones I would, you know, dip and spray and then pack on the shit. Last but not least, we have a pencil brush. This was going to be really good for that inner corner highlight, that brow bone. And then if you want to apply some shadow closer to the lash line, I sometimes use a brush like this. If you are interested in the brush set, it's a bit pricey. It is $109. All right, you guys. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to have to pick this video up tomorrow because I need to take some pictures of these palettes and the beautiful embossing before I ruin it with the swatches. I'm really having a good time. I don't know if y'all can tell, but um, it is now 10, 12 and I have to go to work tomorrow. So... I'll be back in a second with same clothes, uh, different day. Yeah, that's just how it is sometimes. I'm going to get into the swatches of everything. I am going to put some music on while I do them. And then we're just going to play with the collection a little bit. And of course, I'm going to come back with a follow up video. This collection just has so many pieces and so many different things that you can do. And I, I just don't want the video to be like too long. So let's hear some music, look at some beautiful swatches, and then I'll see y'all in a couple minutes. Always think of you when spring comes Like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why Always dream of you when spring comes like the heat on my skin takes me by to the time Met you on a Friday Halfway out at the door of the club Playing soul on the weekends Stayed in bed till Wednesday Fell in love with you right there and then I was young, couldn't see that <laughs> swatches like of all of it the entire thing first let's start with the gel liners and the pigment paints once they dry down they did not move at all i had to scrub with vigor to get those pigments or those paints off of my arm so i have confidence that they will not move the lipsticks and the lip liners gorgeous i do have a few melt matte lipsticks and i really really like them and i think the shimmers are a great addition to their line i just see lots of possibilities of combining the shimmers and the mattes together and just creating you know some some interesting textures there the blushes the blushes are gorgeous a couple of the shades look a bit similar but I am not complaining at all. I love blush. And last but not least, y'all, the eyeshadow palette. This, I have to admit that when I initially saw this palette, I just did not realize it ran as deep as it did. So I am truly inspired by this color story 
and I am really liking the layout of this palette because you can go a bit monochromatic if you go across the rows. But then if you want to do some interesting color combinations, you can go down the columns. That will help you if you wanna do something new or, or step outside of your comfort zone. This is gonna give you some guidance to put together some colors that you may not normally think to put together and that's really exciting for me. Large palettes can be overwhelming. This one doesn't give me that overwhelming feel and it might be because the actual pan sizes are a bit smaller than regular eyeshadow pan sizes. I was thinking this might be the size of like the Oda's Eye Norns palette. Let me see, I have child palette. I know, just go with it. So these pan sizes look about the same. So this is not your standard 26 millimeter eyeshadow pan size. I'm not complaining about because I don't know how I'm gonna use all this eyeshadow up. So the smaller pan sizes are great for me. You do get a little bit of that grunge in there that I thought I was missing with this, so I'm happy. Uh, the last thing that I'd like to mention before we get into it is that these shimmers, because sometimes melt can have crumbly shimmers. These shimmers are not crumbly at all whatsoever. They are smooth. This is like the perfect melt quality. The mattes went on really nice. They do feel a little different than their regular mattes. So I don't know if this is the same formula or a different formula, but it appears to be a good formula and that's all that I care about. So enough talking, Let, let's get into, well, I'm gonna still talk, but let's get into the look. On my face right now, I just have my Huda Beauty Glowish Pat McGrath Concealer, Urban Decay Primer Potion, a little light dusting of Gucci bronzer in the shade three. I may possibly not have that Gucci bronzer on, I can't remember, but that's what I intended to have on. That's it, I have a little Tatcha translucent powder under my eyes. And I'm just gonna let this eye look drive everything else and I was about to use my regular brushes. Let me get these $109 brushes, hold on. I would like to see if I can get through the whole eye look just using these. It is a good possibility. And then, you know, we'll do the face brushes as well. First shade we're gonna start with is Abrazos, which means hugs. I am gonna use the fluffy domed brush. And I, oh, look at that. I love melt mattes. Y'all, so these mattes did not come to play. All right, so we've got this nice fiery shade on. It looks really beautiful. This will come together, so just, just hold tight. I wanna go into the shade Te Adoro, which means I adore you. Now what I'm gonna do is take the crease brush and I am going to see if I can blend this out just a little bit to reduce the kind of harsh line that's there. I'd like to try to make this more of a gradient. As you can see, the line between my brow and Abrazos has been muted a little bit with this neutral shade. And um, that's exactly what I want it to happen. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and now I really do like how that looks. All right, let's get into some more colors, y'all. Let's go into the shade Maria, and I'm gonna go with that same crease brush. I'm gonna just tap a little bit of that shade on the outer corner. Okay, you guys, I wanna get into one of these gel liners. Let's use the shade Estrella. I'm 
All right, that's what we're working with, y'all. This is pretty. Okay, I really like this. I'm gonna go back in with the crease brush into the shade Maria, just to kind of blend this together just a little bit, and as well as back into the crease. I wanna take Maria and also bring it under the lower lash line just a little bit to connect the top and bottom. And that pencil brush will probably be good for it too. I cannot wait to see the looks that people create with this because it's there are so many different possibilities like and just seeing everyone's take on the collection and how to use the different products and then like just seeing how people combine color like i i love seeing that so this is what we're working with so far i really like this a lot let's try the pencil brush out so i'm going to go into the shade sentimentos which means feelings and i'm going to use the pencil brush to continue working on the lower lash line i like to do this to add a just a different pop of color sometimes. Gonna go into the shade Tequila and I am going to use that for the inner corner. Hoing -hoing. Mm, all right, y'all. So there's our eye look. All right, so this is kind of just a thrown together little eye look, but I really like it. Didn't really have any plans. I really like it though. It's funny because I was getting tired, but playing with this collection has definitely given me a second wind. We've got to choose a blush and a lipstick to complement this look. I think I'm going to go with Sonrisa, which means smile. Make sure you tap your brush off with these two. Let's just see how this applies. Okay, well you can see that. I'm applying it a little heavier. The so lights are really making it hard to see. I think you can see the blush. And I think that the shade Felice, which means happy, I think this would be beautiful on top. I am going to take the smaller face brush. Let's see if we can highlight a little bit. It gives the blush like just a little more glow. All right, we'll do the lipstick and then we'll be good to go. Let's go with the purple. This was one of the things I was really most interested in. So let's just go ahead and do it. All right, so I just wanna say the lipstick is not the smoothest matte formula and i'm wondering because i have other melt matte lipsticks and they go on smoother than this so i'm not sure i'm wondering if it's a different uh formula or is it because of the color like this lipstick is definitely not i don't think it's gonna go anywhere which is which is good but look at this color color's beautiful i'm gonna take a little bit of the shade you know vidable the one that means unforgettable this is that glittery pink and I'm going to put a little bit on my hand and I'm just going to see what that looks like if we layer it. Let's see. I'm kind of just trying to join <laughs> this area because sometimes no matter how much lipstick I put, it leaves a harsh line between like the shade and then my actual lips. I'm just trying to just... um add a bit of a different effect. Okay, y'all. So I showed y'all the look. We use the blush, you can see that. And then we use the lip, very bold look today. So 
let me go ahead and put on my liner and mascara. I'll be back to just wrap up and give you my first impressions about this collection. Be right back. All right, y'all, here is the final look. I'm into it. I am definitely into it. You know, this is a look that was definitely worth staying up into. 1234 I, I mean I'm serious y'all I really really am excited as soon as I started with the eyeshadow I started to get a second win because I'm like yes first impression I love it all I mean I am trying to think of something that I didn't like I think that this collection is really the most beautiful piece of like makeup that I own if that makes sense I don't have anything like that i can say that this is something i think i am going to cherish in my makeup collection i really enjoyed the experience of opening the box and swatching all of the products and using everything when i decided i was going to get this collection it was because i knew that there wasn't a piece in the collection that i was not going to use i was i was not planning on keeping the brushes on display and not using them the color story is great i know i'm going to use the mirror the lip pencils i mean you can't have enough lip pencils and the lipsticks are great uh, as i said this purple one feels a little bit drier than the other melt lipsticks that I have but that's not a make or break for me because I can always put my Kaleidos lip mask just a little bit underneath just to give me a little bit of moisture so I'm not concerned about that that's sad because I'm about to wash my face and get in the bed anyway y'all I think the blushes are beautiful are they unique blushes no does it go with the collection yes do I mind having a blush palette by melt absolutely not because i have a lot of their blushes and i really like them so i can say that this blush palette is also going to get a lot of use and that's all i got for today well not all but that's what i have for you guys today so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i have really enjoyed filming it and i do hope that you like the look and that you found this helpful as far as whether or not you want anything from the collection i mean you could see the video and be like mm, yeah i really don't want anything or you may see it and be able to figure out what it is you want it is an expensive collection so you know i think it is important to be able to see the different products and see them in action so that you can make an informed decision i will also say i know that laura oriano um you know our girl she, I think, just did a tutorial of an orange look that she did with the palette. So I hope to see some more look inspo from Laura Ariano and Dana Bomar, who are the co-owners of Melt. I, I think they are very creative and I love the ideas that they come up with. I, like I said, Melt is a brand that I really connect with and I just feel their vision and their creativity. So love the quality of everything. I think that if you have been reluctant to try melt eyeshadows because of the inconsistent formula, I don't think you would be disappointed with this palette in particular. And I could go through some other palettes like the Rust palette. I love that one. I like 27. But as far as this palette right here, I definitely don't think that you would be disappointed in the eyeshadow quality. The mattes matte and the shimmer shim, they just perform really nicely, at least the colors that I chose. And I can't wait to come back with another video with some look inspo so I can really get into all of these beautiful shades. So thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I do hope this was therapy for you because it was for me. It's like my late night hangout. The boys are upstairs sleep and uh, I'm going to do the same in just a second. So until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice. Stay safe and I will see y'all really soon. Bye. Oh,